So I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube about people replacing standard car batteries with supercapacitors. And I found it very interesting, but was curious exactly how much power the standard battery was putting out in joules in order to start the car on a cold day. I'm going to use this information to see if it's feasible to actually build a capacitor bank that will be able to start the car under similar conditions reliably. To do this, I first left the car get cold, and I'm measuring the temperature inside the garage. The car has not been run for over 12 hours, and it looks like it's about 29 degrees in here. What we're going to do is we're going to measure the amperage and the voltage as the car attempts to start. I've disconnected the fuel pump so the motor will not be able to start. If I'm going to design a capacitor bank, I would like it to at least be able to go for 15 seconds of cranking at this 30 degrees. So what we're going to do here is we've disconnected the negative cable and we are actually running the ground through a current shunt. This is what the shunt looks like without all the tape on it to keep it from shorting out. What a current shunt does is on the top here each one of these will be hooked to basically a DMM and it will m measure the voltage. It's a very precise amount of resistance in here so you actually will be able to measure the voltage drop across it and calculate the current from it. Along with this in order to calculate the joules of power I also have attached two leads which are going to be measuring the voltage as the engine attempts to start. These two connections are run to a data acquisition system which is going to log and monitor them and I should be able to get at least five samples a second, hopefully a lot higher, so I should be able to get good data in order to calculate everything. So, we're going to turn on the data acquisition system And we're going to try to start the car for 15 seconds. Then we're going to turn off the data acquisition system. And now I'll download the information and calculate the wattage, the joules, and also the minimum voltage this, that this drops to. I graphed the voltage over the time that the motor was turning over. The key thing here is if I'm going to add in any kind of auxiliary or different starting system is that I do not want the voltage to drop below this 10.2 area throughout the starting process. The other information that will be needed from the data logging is our watts versus time. What we need to do is take the area under the curve by integrating or possibly taking an average so that I can calculate the actual joules of energy that are required to turn the engine over for this duration. Depending on the feedback that I get from this video, I could go through all the calculations and showing how to do this, but I kind of thought I'd see if there was a whole lot of interest in a project like this. Thank you for watching.